news, everyone. So, yeah, <laughs> it's like day 14 of our COVID lockdown. I actually started working on a project that I've had on hold for a while. As you can see, I am working on the mounting for the electric motor. It's coming slow because every time I start working on it, I run into something or have to go into work because technically I'm essential. So I don't really get all the time off that everybody else is getting, but I'm still getting some extra time off. And then of course school started last Monday, so I'm also in class right now. And we're going to be working on, today we're gonna to be working on pulling the modules out of the battery. Yeah, I've, we got laundry everywhere. I'm gonna to have to clean all that up before we uh, start. If you didn't know, I've been having problems with my GoPros. And that's the reason why. The GoPro fell off of the truck and cracked like that. And since then, I can start recording on it and the picture will freeze, but the audio will keep going. So I got a new one, uh, Hero 8, obviously. But we just picked up the Volt last week. Yeah, last week when I did the last video. And the wife went ahead and got into an accident. So I got her something. And so got the Garmin dash cam 56 off of Amazon pretty cheaply. So I'm gonna end up installing this. I just kinda wish that it came in a little bit earlier. Granted, the other lady was at fault for the accident. So not really too concerned about that, but we're going to end up Installing this and running the power wire. Voila, it's installed. So I got you something for the Volt. What? Since you got into that accident. That's not funny. It was a fender bender. And it was, the car wasn't total. The bag didn't go off. Yeah, but did you die? <laughs> Isn't that what that guy from uh, The Hangover says? Yes. Just be careful. All the connections. Oh, okay. I'm gonna have to get the brush. Well, I had to put Nico up. Huh? Oh, your ID10T bottle? Uh huh. It is uh, no longer. I mean, most of the battery packs disassembled uh, at least. That's the time. Um, yeah, that one is completely disconnected from these. And because of that, these two are still technically connected, but they're not connected to anything else, so. Obviously we need to lift the batteries off the tray and the way we're going to do that is with this adapter that General Motors came out with for the Bolt and picked it up off of eBay probably about 180 bucks total between buying the two pieces. Uh, the, the bar itself was cheap but the actual clamps were a little bit more expensive so obviously it's not centered on the bar but that's partially because I can't find my jack stands to lift the entire pallet up. So we're going to slowly do this and pray I don't kill myself. So a few things why I'm not wearing my gloves right now. The terminals right here and right here. Those are the end all be all terminals for the entire module. You've got the BMS plugs right here 
and right here and then this is a temp sensor that'll tell you if your battery pack is overheating which uh that's one of the benefits i guess of buying a used volt battery to do all this i don't have to buy temp sensors or wire the bms up at the module level but i am wondering if i can utilize this bms for the entire pack because i'm gonna have to buy another pack and this one is at least good enough to get it to 0.3 volts between all the cells so i'm wondering if i can use this but i'm probably going to get an orion bms and run that but then i've got the connectors already for those plugs that i can actually just wire it in and be done with it because it's what 96 cells in series i metered the battery pack earlier they're all sitting at 3.5 volts and it means i need to charge it because it's not even at the storage voltage which is nominal which would be 3.7 so i'm down 0.2 volts but i'm not dead yet they're sitting at 3.2 would be dead so i'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of the modules off and find a place to store these until i again get another battery pack and we can start actually putting them in the car Well, that's going to do it for today's video. Make sure you don't forget anything uh, like subscribing or liking this video. And I will catch you all next time.